extended humming code. Generally, error control capability of any linear code can be improved by adding an overall parity check bit at the end of the code word. Uh, an extension of the given code is obtained. This addition, addition of such bit increases the code minimum distance by one. For humming extended code, then the humming distance is four, what enables single error correction as for regular uh, humming cut code, but also a double error detection. The code parity check equations are supplemented with the overall parity check sum. Then the parity check matrix can be uh, of the extended code can be obtained by adding at the right side of the regular uh, humming code matrix O0 column and then by that way original code parity check equations remain unchanged and um, unchanged and then by adding at the bottom the last row all one row this is this corresponds to overall parity check then we have four parity check bits p sub 4 is the last bit, bit of the code word. this is this equation, parity check equation, overall parity check equation. In this table, we have code words of a regular code 74, and in the last column, we have a parity check bit added to these words. Decoding. Decoding is more complex than for a regular or shortened, shortened uh, humming code. Now we have two syndromes. One syndrome is syndrome of the uh, regular original humming code uh, S sub H and the second syndrome is parity check syndrome which is 0 or 1. S sub H uh, can be 0 uh, or, uh, or, or uh, sorry it can be yes it can be 0 yes it can be 0 or, or different than 0. We have four possible cases. The first case is when both syndromes are zero. Humming syndrome is zero and parity check syndrome is zero, which means that there is no error. If a, uh, humming syndrome is different than zero and parity check is one, then we have a correctable single error at the first n bits, a hum regular humming code bits. It's easy to locate this error and correct this error. Same way as we did for regular humming code. If humming code syndrome is zero and parity check is one, then uh, correctable single error of the overall parity check bit has occurred at the last bit of the error pattern. And also this error is correct. And finally, if Humming syndrome is different than zero and parity check is zero. What it means that we have double error, detectable and double error and not correctable, detectable double error, double error. Here we have five exemplary uh, transmissions, uh, one transmission per each case. In this column, we have a transmission corresponding to error at the humming code position. We have a syndrome 1, 0, 0, which corresponds to, uh, to, to error at the first bit, and uh, this error can be corrected. Uh, this column is no error, 0 error humming uh, uh, syndrome and uh, 0 uh, parity check syndrome, 0 error pattern, no need to correct. In this column, we have 0 humming syndrome and one overall parity check syndrome. What it means that our error is at the last bit and this is correctable error. And finally, the last column here, we have humming syndrome different than zero and overall parity check bit zero, which means that we have a double fold, detectable but not correctable. Cyclic Codes is the next screencast.